Okay, hello, welcome. I am testing yet again my ability to record my screen and myself speaking at the same time. Alright, so to do that, I'll open up uh, what I was working on, which was this Mathematica file. Okay, so question one of a PDF right here. So yes, I was working on this. Let's see how big I need to make this in order for it to be visible. Right on. So there it is. Okay, and now I will open up this one and I'll open file, new, notebook, and then I'll just do all this stuff over again. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to do this uh, problem sheet. So first of all we have a question asking to calculate or express the number 155 as 3 cubed plus r. Alright, so I'll set q, uh, sorry, n equals 155 semicolon so that I don't show the output. Now I want this to be a little bit bigger so I'll increase the magnification all the way up to 300% so hopefully we can all see this. Right, okay, next, so I've got n and now I want to divide n by 3. Alright, so do that. Now I see that's a fraction. That's not quite what I want. So I'll change this to 3.0 and now I have a decimal number. Alright, so I'm looking for the number 51 that we see here. And the floor function will give me just that. It cuts off the decimal part of the number. Alright, and, and, and that's going to be the quotient Q in this problem. Okay, so next I want to calculate the remainder. Okay, so I need 3 times Q. I just put a space for that. Shift enter 153. That's quite near 155. Okay, so to get the remainder, I just subtract that from N. And I have a remainder of 2. So R equals 2. And let's just check that 3q plus r is 155. Yes, that's good. Okay, so we're done with that for now. Alright, now I want to enter a, a comment. Alright, so left bracket, asterisk, comment. Alright, bracket, sorry, asterisk and bracket. Okay, that's how you make a comment. So whenever I press shift enter, that comment won't be read when I execute the commands. Okay, so now what do I want to do with that? I don't want to write comment. I want to say that I'm doing question one of my problem sheet. Alright, so there it is, question one done. Now, this over here on the right is a cell. Okay, that's a cell. Alright, so what I want to do is open a new cell. So I click down here at the bottom, underneath this, and I'll press enter, and it'll open up a new cell. Okay, so next I want to scroll down and do the second question. Now this is a symbolic exercise. Mathematic is great for computing, symbolic, uh, computing things symbolically. Alright, so what have we got here? A symbolic exercise, formulate a proof. Alright, well we're not really going to write a proof, but... I'm just going to show you how you can maybe use um, use Mathematica to help you think about things. All right. So first of all, I got um, a curly bracket for an ordered pair, all right, or an array. Um, so first of all, I've got a minus b, and I'm considering in my mind I'm thinking about a minus b is equal to r m, but I'm just going to enter a comma there, uh, and then I'm going to put r by m. All right, but I can see that the letter R is in black, and so that tells me that it's in memory, so I need to clear that. Clear all R, 
okay let's see yes now that's good all right so next I'm going to enter the other equation so I'm just entering a pair really right I'm thinking of it as an as an equation but I'm entering a pair b minus c now I've got a typo in this uh, PDF file I really meant to say s times m all right so I've entered two pairs and and I'm thinking of these as equations right now I'm going to add this these pairs see what we get well I have a minus C on the left and on the right I have MR plus MS yeah, a webcam. I need a better webcam for this okay so now that I have that I want to factorize the right hand side All right, so I'll just write factor it's an uppercase F and a square brackets for the function to factor, factorize. Right, so there we have it. All right. So what this is telling me is that a minus c is m times in brackets r plus s. So if I said t is equal to r plus s, then what I would be saying is that a minus c is equal to t times m. So if you give me any two uh, integers r and s then I know that the sum r plus s is another integer that I'm calling t okay so this is essentially how we could write a proof that if a minus b is equal to r times m and b minus c is equal to s times m then a minus c is equal to t times m so in other words if m divides into a minus b and m divides into b minus c then we find out that m divides into a minus c okay and i don't have to shift enter this because i was just using that to think all right and that's question two done all right now this should be the end of my uh, test of this software so i'll just sign off here and i'll see you next time